There is no way I'm sewing this leather by hand. Good morning and welcome back to my workshop and in today's video it's all about sewing I've got a few leather projects to do and to sew that by hand no way so I got myself a cobbler's sewing machine hand operated and the first thing I'm going to do is build a stand for it it comes with a stand but what I'm told it's not all that steady but I'm still gonna try it and I'm going to make it multi-purpose I'm going to use 18 and 12 millimeter plywood to build a base and the reason why I'm building a base is so I can actually clamp it to my workbench or if it's a cold rainy day and I don't feel like the workshop I'm going to do it inside so that's just to make it more convenient without wasting any more time let me get cutting i'll see you on the other side because i'm just going to fast forward the whole cutting process that's the base done always use off cuts don't waste I put some filler pieces in there to have clearance for your sewing for your hand movement so now it's basically just doing all the fine tuning doing the thread Okay, hang on, let's have a look. That goes in there. So I take it the nut goes at the bottom to lock it. Okay. I think what I'm going to do here for the cotton I'm going to do a bit of a base for the cotton to, to lie in. Okay, so, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll use some perspex and use the laser cutter for that. Okay, so next step, fine tuning. I think I must put a bit of grease on the bobbin shaft. Check if everything there is operating well and then go to all the oil points and do a bit of oiling okay that's the next step let's do it <clears throat> i went and did a bit of laser cutting Gee, it's getting cold i must quickly just put on another top I sometimes forget it's winter okay now I'm ready for action okay so what I went and did I made a cut a cotton or thread 
reel holder for the cobbler's sewing machine. Okay, I'll bring it in a bit closer so you can have a close look. There you go. Clearance. It just wouldn't work this way. Not happy with that. So, there it is. Maybe I should make it more shorter. I think let me do a bit of oiling. <laughs> Maybe I should read the instructions in any case. Okay, so a bit of fine tuning, oiling and greasing, and then it's time to actually thread the machine. I'm going to do that in fast motion and I'll check in with you guys later. Actually, that's not too bad. I had to adjust the tension a bit. There you go. There's quite a few adjustments you can do. Um, at the back, there is a stitch size adjustment. It's the gap between the rod and the spring-loaded adjustment screw or bolt. The smaller the gap, the smaller the stitch. The bigger the gap, the bigger the stitch. I must say the tension must be quite high. <clears throat> Okay, so far I'm very happy. So I'm going to take it for a bit of a test drive, see how it works. And then obviously give you guys a bit of feedback. Not too bad at all. This is very soft leather. Stitch is good. That's excellent. Okay, what I'm going to try next is to 
two three more pieces together I think I've got a smaller off cut upstairs let me go and fetch it quickly let's give it a go this is quite thick I'm very interested to see how it's going to work let me measure it That is eight more, that's two times four. Quite a bit of tension on here. <laughs> Can you believe it? Look at that. It's like someone else said on their review. It's a game changer. Because now it will just take a bit of practice. Obviously, you've got to work in a straight line. But I did that with ease. Very, very happy. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to finish off this wood, sand it a bit, get rid of the sharp corners. And I'm very happy so far. I think also what I'm going to do, this little disc at the bottom, that's 65 more at the moment. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I don't want this cotton to go in underneath and st start toiling up at the bottom and that might snap the yarn or the thread. Okay, but so far I'm very, very happy. The design. They have a very simple way of um, filling the bobbin. Um, I'm going to take it a bit closer. This is a very simple way of doing it. This swings around. It's got tension from spring and it goes onto the flywheel. And then when you turn it, the bobbin goes on there. You put your cord on there and you turn to fill it. Now, this is the solution. I put this around, I'm going to call it a flywheel, <laughs> uh, for a bit of traction so it doesn't slide when you're busy filling the bobbin. But I, I reckon I can actually improve this system. I'll think about it and come up with an idea. The swivel is a good idea, but I reckon this part here I can improve. Well, I have improved it slightly by putting an elastic around it, so that's fairly effective. So, time will tell. As time goes by, we will improve this. And also, what, I'm, what I think I'm going to do, this hole through, through this main pivot arm I'm going to actually polish that hole there so that this cord has a smoother path and not a rough ride okay brilliant that's a bit of feedback okay found myself a little container just to put all the spare parts in and I'll actually leave that at the bottom there handy right where you need it I'm just so impressed with this 8 millimeter went through it no problem 
so they reckon you can do um, wax thread as well the proper leather making thread so a bit later on I will give that a go I think I might not have the correct needle for that but uh, we'll have to test and see anyway I'm very happy I did a bit of finishing all the sharp edges and I think I'm gonna just oil it with raw linseed oil just to protect it a bit from stains and so on and so on good that's the base built and the quick maintenance done oiling setting up tension and so on and so on I hope you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up if you did if there's any comments questions or any corrections let me have it in the comment section below please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this and until the next time happy sewing laka laka